probably deserved something out of that game. Yeah, um, probably for effort. Yeah, definitely. We spoke about it before, before the game. Just you know, we know what it takes to come here to Saracens. You know how they play, and we need to rip in for each other and work hard for each other. And, and, and we did that, and we're in the game for long periods. Boy, game management second half let us down. You know, we let them sort of have wave after wave, and, and they're a very good team. They're very economical in the way they play, and um, you know, and you know, yeah, we, we were close, but you know, it just wasn't, wasn't close enough. Yellow cards never help. Yeah, you know, it's tough, you know, uh, you know, it's tough enough to in Saris when they're on top of you with 15, 14, it makes it a little bit harder, but, you know, you know, boys boys dug in for each other out there, you know, all game, you know, we can't fault the effort, and that's what we asked for before the game. It was a lot of guys, you know, playing for the first time, new combinations, and I thought everyone ripped in, you know, we spoke about in the week, we came down here and we wanted to give a good account of ourselves, and in many areas we did, but we just probably just didn't, we didn't execute as, as well as we could have done, that's probably why we lost the game. He had no coronavirus concern tackling Mark Mako. No, to. no, he actually had some banter on the floor at one point about it, but uh, no, it was, uh, no, no concern. No coughing. No coughing. No, no symptoms. No symptoms. Put you away for now for two weeks. No, no. <laughs> Nephi, I want to ask you about him. He was probably one of his better games for the club. Yeah, well, he's been huge for us off the bench. Yeah. And <laughs> he's been huge for us off the bench in recent weeks. You know, he's been coming on making a real impact last week, especially. So, rightly got his got his start today, and he was massive. You know, he's, he's a big man with great feet. He got us over the game line. He put in a huge shift, and likewise, when Bateman came on, you know, he added the impetus as well. So, we got a lot of competition there. Let's not talk about Greg too much. <laughs> he doesn't need that. For yourself individually, uh, I asked you before if it was one of your better games for the club or in the shirt. You said no because we didn't win yeah I, I don't know it's hard to reflect on the game because we were all disappointed there you know you put a lot into everyone put a lot into that today and then Dave you lose it doesn't really matter you don't, you don't really matter how you play individually you know it's not you know I want to sort of play as well as I can help the team as much as I can and, and try and do areas that I'm good at um, but like at the end of the day when, when it's not quite enough to win the game you always feel pretty flat afterwards gets almost tougher now heading to Exeter away in the next game yeah, that's that's and he, it's a, they have a huge challenge. But, you know, as a group, we feel like we're building. You know, with the coaches, with the boys. You know, we know where we're at on our journey. You know, we're nowhere near where we want to be or we feel we should be. But we have to accept that. You know, we're we're not good enough right now. That's the honest truth. But we're working hard every day at training at the training ground and trying to put it into the games. And I know that we'll we, you know we'll get back up there again. So it's just a huge challenge. It's, it's exciting. We'll come in next week. We'll work hard. Uh, even at, and then have the weekend off and then come in the following Monday ready to rip in for extra and, and, and see what we can do. Strong finish. Loved it. Nice. Cheers, mate. Positive. Appreciate it.